Hi, this is Deanne from Rainbow Resource Center, and today I want to share about Dr. J. Wild's new elementary science series published by Berean Builders. Written for grades K through 6, the series will contain six volumes that cover science chronologically from the days of creation through the atomic age. Each book in the series will take one year to complete. Personally, I am quite enthusiastic about this course for a lot of reasons, but what I really love is the Christian worldview, including a young earth creation perspective to old earth and evolutionary theories. The chronological and historical approach is a fresh way to view science. Multiple ages can learn together, and it's flexible to meet your individual family needs. Did I mention there's a hands-on activity for every lesson? The lessons have approximately three pages of reading, which is more manageable than many other programs available. The required components include the textbook and the helps and hints book. And while there is not a printed workbook or notebook to purchase, the publisher has provided free printable lab and review books online that you can print and put into your own three ring binder. These are available on our website or at the publisher site. Additionally, there is an optional lab kit available for purchase. But let's take a look at the two necessary components, the textbook and the helps and hints book. When you open the hardcover textbook, the first thing you will notice is an overview to the specific course that provides helpful contextual information, a how to use this book overview of the lesson readings and the activities, helpful tips for doing the activities and experiments with children, your supply list, and the table of contents. As I mentioned at the beginning, each book in the series will take one year to complete. There are six modules, each with 15 lessons. 12 are basic lessons and three are challenge lessons. You can easily tell these apart from each other as the challenge lessons titles are in red. It is recommended that you complete the 12 basic lessons in each unit and use the challenge lessons as time and interest permit. They provide more depth of instruction but are not necessarily more advanced than the base lessons. Because of this format, parents have more planning flexibility. You can choose to do science every other day and complete all 15 lessons per module, or you can choose to do science twice a week and complete only the regular non-challenge lessons. Either option provides an excellent elementary science education for your children. There is not a separate teacher guide. Any teaching information the parents need to know is highlighted at the beginning of the lesson in the student book. A supplemental yet highly valuable helps and hints soft cover book is available. This contains experiment and activity notes, answers to all the questions, and optional tests and answers for those who want to incorporate assessments. It also includes limited templates to create a lab notebook. These pages are reproducible for family use. The textbook and helps and hints are sold separately or as a set. Let's talk about how the lessons are set up and what a lesson would look like. Whether you choose the two-day or three-day per week lesson path, you will need to plan one hour for the lesson reading, the activity, and the review. Each lesson contains approximately three pages of reading. Depending on the age of your child, these lessons could be read independently. Within the lesson, there is a hands-on activity that teaches the scientific concept that is being studied. The activities use common, easy-to-find household items, although lab kits are available for your convenience. The hands-on activities require adult supervisions. Each lesson concludes with a lesson review that assesses the child's understanding of the text reading or the activity. Lesson reviews are divided into levels. These are not grade levels, and parents have the ability to choose the review questions based on the child's abilities and not their grade. The lesson review divisions include the youngest students, which are your non-readers and will have oral answers, Older students and oldest students both have written activities that include questions, labeling, or simple drawings. They will create a science notebook which prepares them for sciences in the upper grades. Questions for oldest students require more critical thinking and writing. At this point, you may be wondering how this series compares to the Apologia elementary curriculum. At first glance, the main difference is with the scope of topics. Dr. J's new series provides students with exposure to multiple branches of science within the course of a year. Elementary Apologia takes one topic and studies it in depth over the course of that year. Parents who have used Dr. Wiles Junior and Senior High Apologia text will find this new series similar to the upper level Apologia text with lessons written in a friendly conversational tone, step-by-step -step instructions, and lesson reviews. Fully illustrated graphics are plentiful but not as bountiful as in the Apologia Elementary books. 
Either program is an excellent elementary program that will teach science through a biblical worldview and meet the needs for a solid year of science. Dr. J. Wiles' elementary science takes a fresh look at the sciences in an engaging, hands-on manner. Children and parents alike will be intrigued with the historical look at the science through the lens of God's Word. You may be wondering, though, about the validity of teaching science through historical discovery, which would include the good and the bad discoveries. I will let Dr. Weil answer this, as he has written an excellent response to this question on his blog. Quote, a parent asked me this question, and I thought it would be a good one to answer. Does this approach mean that the students will learn scientifically incorrect things from most of the course? No, it does not. The course mostly concentrates on what the scientists got right. However, it does discuss the things they got wrong from time to time because such instances can be a valuable illustration of how science progresses. If the course discusses an errant concept, it always tells the student the idea is wrong and that it will be corrected later on." End quote. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this has answered your question regarding Dr. Weil's new elementary science series. If you have further questions about this or any other curriculum, please reach out to us here at Rainbow Resource Center. We would be happy to help you.